hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how to basically uh, load more data when you scroll here we will be looking at an example of infinite scrolling here and uh, we will be using the json placeholder api so you can see that basically as i load the page here the data is loaded from the json placeholder api and it displayed it inside the browser so nice thing about this so if i scroll down here if i scroll down dude using the mouse here you will see it will load more data as i am scrolling here you will see it is loading more data from json placeholder api it is making http request here and you can see it the more data is loading here it is called as infinite scrolling effect here as you scroll more data is loaded here so we will be trying to make this effect inside pure javascript we will be looking at how to load data using javascript using json placeholder api so json placeholder api basically it's a fake rest api for developers for building out applications so if you just write json placeholder api we are making request to this api http request whenever we scroll down so basically this is the endpoint and uh, all the source code regarding this application is given in the description of the video so you can go to the description and copy paste all the source code so now let's get started so the very first thing you need to do just make a simple index.html file here and right inside this file you just need to inside the html we will have a simple div tag which will have the id root attached to it that's all this is all the html which is required for this application now we will be writing the simply the javascript file so you can just transfer this inside a different so we will be creating a script.js file in the root directory so here we will be writing the html code here sorry javascript code so first of all we will be declaring some variables current page value to be one and uh, is fetching this is will be a boolean parameter the value will be false by default has more will be false has more will be true and the root element so we will be basically be targeting that element which has the id attached to it which is root here so we are targeting this div id which has the id attached to it which is root so after we declare these variables guys so now we just need to basically call a function which will fetch the data for us so fetch data we will call, basically call this function it will fetch the initial data to us and display it inside the browser this will be basically a async function and this name of the function is fetch data and inside this function guys we will first of all make the, this parameter each fetching from false to true because we are fetching the data here and after this we will basically be making a simple http get request so we will be using await here because this is an async function so we can easily use await here and here we will be making a simple fetch request a get request to this endpoint here so basically uh, we are making it endpoint this is json placeholder api let me show you basically the http request to which we are making the get request so here you will replace your page number so you will see if i load the first page number you will see it will load the records out there it basically returns an array of records out there user id is one id one title if i go to the second page you will see it will load the next 10 records out there if i change the page number value you will see that so we will use the same concept as i scroll down we will simply change the page number and we will load some more data out there so we will try to do it programmatically so right basically inside this we will just write inside backtick symbol and here we will simply write https json placeholder uh, type type code dot com slash post question mark and then inside uh, underscore we will provide the page number value so page is equal to basically the current page number so we have initialized this current page number value which is initialized to one here because we have declared this current page to one here so now this url will be th there and now we will simply make a simple get request fetch request so after this you will fetch the data here so this will be equal to await response dot json so we will get the json response here and again we will make the is fetching from true to false because we have already fetch the data so we just need to make this boolean parameter to false so now we will simply check here if data dot length 
there is a property inside this in if the length property is zero in that case we will simply say has more is equal to false there is no more data to be here so basically if i just console log the data here you will see there will be a property out there which will be called as length out there so we are just checking for this property here as i load the page here you will see in the console there will be an array of records out there and this is basically the length property we are checking here so we are checking for the length property if the length is equal to zero in that case uh, we will make this property of boolean parameter to be false has more initial value is true so it will make it false here so now we will simply return here we will not execute any more time and then basically if this property is not equal to zero then we will simply loop through the data let post of data and inside this basically we will render out the data inside the browser we will make a dynamic div here we will create a element here you using this method create element and inside this we will display basically the post title and so here we will display the post title so now to display the post title we will simply say that post dot title and then inside the paragraph we will display basically post dot body that's it so basically there are two properties first is the title and the body we are displaying it and then we just need to append this to the root element that's all so if you just see we just need to increment the current page value as well guys so current page we will increment it to plus plus so that's all that we need to do here that's all so now at the last we are incrementing the current page value from 1 to 2 so in the next iteration this current page value will be 2 so now what will happen here you will see that basically the data will be displayed here you will see the title is displayed this is the body of the post so as i scroll down you will not see data is loading here as i scroll down nothing is happening here so basically first of all we just need to detect whenever we scroll to the bottom of the page we just need to load some more data out there for doing that we just need to write some code here just we will basically write a simple event handler here so there is an event out there in javascript in order to detect whenever user uh, reached the bottom of the page so add event listener and basically this event is called as scroll event so whenever you are scrolling here this event will trigger automatically and here inside the callback function what we will do is that we will simply check that is fetching if it is true or there is no more data to be having then we will simply say return so either of these conditions are true then we will not be executing this code if no more data is present out there then in that case or if the data is fetching in that case and now we will simply detect the bottom of the page if the user has uh, scrolled to the bottom so we will use this condition scroll y is smaller than or equal to basically this is basically the logic which is used every time whenever you want to detect whenever the user has reached the bottom of the page offset height so basically you can just alert out the user scroll to bottom so now what you will see here as I scroll down to the bottom of the page you will see in the alert box it is saying that you have scrolled to the bottom of the page so every time you scroll to the bottom this alert statement will uh, execute and it will display here so now in this moment of time we just need to load some more data from the JSON placeholder API so we will simply call this function which is we have written fetch data that's all we need to do here instead of this alert statement we will simply call this function here which is fetch data that's all so now if you go to the application here if you refresh the application now if you scroll down to the bottom of the page the next 10 sets of data will be loading here you will see that 
it is created as an infinite scrolling here you will see as I scroll down here more set of data is loading here you have seen this effect on many websites whenever you scroll down more set of data loads so this effect can be made in pure JavaScript without any using any sort of library this is very simple you are fetching data from an API whenever on scrolling effect you can see that all the source code is given in the description of the video Thank you very much for watching this video.